Hello everybody, it's Bonnie from Bonnie's Pretty Puppet Reborn and Doll Nursery. How are you today? Oh, I hope you're feeling well. Have been able to spend some time with those that you love, accomplish a few things you set out to do, and I certainly hope that you've had a chance to laugh and play and joke and be yourself. Well, today is Monday. We hope you had a beautiful weekend, and we're praying for a brand new week ahead that is just perfect for you. Well, we have a few tags to do today as always and the first one we're going to do uh, I'll introduce everybody as we go but the first one I'm going to do is whatever I want Monday and that's by our dear friend D over at the baby patch this is one of my favorite tags because we get to do whatever we want so I thought I had I know some of them I brought out before and some of them I haven't but I was going to show you some of my other dolls, my vintage dolls that I've had for quite a while. And this is only a portion. Believe me, I have so many more. But I also thought some of our new subscribers might like to see some of, <clears throat> excuse me, some of our um, vintage dolls. So I'm going to start out over here. Excuse me. Here's a little Cupid doll. I think he's in really good shape. Most of these came from either a thrift store or the typical little hands of the, it, it, or the flea market. So that's my Cupid doll. I have several of those. I dressed, dressed him. He did not come dressed like that. He actually came naked. So, all right. And then here's my Campbell's kids. I'm pretty sure I've showed these before, but not for quite a while. I have a little boy and girl Campbell's kids. They're from the 60s. I think they're in perfect shape for being in the 60s. Here's the back of them. So those are my Campbell's kids. I used to have mugs and everything. I don't know what happened to a lot of my stuff. When the kids were little, it got broken. And these are Cupid doll-esque, but they're uh, harder plastic. And somebody took the time to make these darling little outfits for them. They even have the booties with the baubles on it. And these are the harder plastic. These also, I think, are from the late 50s, early 60s. And one of my favorites is this German doll. He even has the later hosen on. And the little shoes. This is his original outfit. I don't take it off of him. The vintage dolls, of course, have that molded plastic hair. It's usually 3D, too. So that is for whatever I want Monday. I thought I would catch everybody up on some of our vintage things and show you some of our baby dolls. And like I said, it's just a portion. Maybe one of these weeks I'll do part two. And then we have our beautiful Jack, or should I say handsome? This is Harrison Jack that we call Jack. And he is re representing our second video. And that's Monster Monday from our dear little favorite little monster, Gilly, over at Gilly the Monster. And of course, his mommy, Allison. What another lovely channel. He is on, one, I haven't had him on for a while, and two... He found this hat, and even though it's ages too big for him, he decided he was going to wear it. Let's see if Mommy can get it to work. Sometimes I can. <laughs> so he got his monster hat on. It has orange and black horns, and it's green, and it's age orange on the inside, and it's ages too big for him, but he insisted. And then him and the purple people eater have been hanging out together. So they are here to represent Monster Monday uh, over at Gilly the Monster. And um, also Jack is, I forgot to say, is the Blue Sparrow, for those of you who didn't know. And he was sculpted and painted by Doris Moyers Hornbogen. And then there are two new little loves to the nursery that I found at the flea market. They are actually reborns. And... The hair on their head is actually rooted. Let me see without. I found two adorable monkeys. This one's a sleeping one. And she even has on her little monkey onesie. 
Uh, this is a child of mine, newborn, and it has green and light blue and pink and hot pink. Look at that hair. It's actually rooted. She is definitely a reborn. I found them at the flea market. I was amazed. I'll tell you their names in a minute. Let me get the little guy. He's open-eyed. Look at those cute eyes. He also has rooted hair. Look at that. And his little outfit is also a child of mine, newborn. And he has a little monkey on there driving a car. And then his little shorts have cars on them and they're brown. And the shirt is blue. So I named these two darlings and he is, they're really hard to sit up. I got to work on them a little bit. They do have the zip ties. Uh-oh, there goes my German doll. Uh, they do have zip ties. So I have to uh, maybe rearrange their arms a little bit. But this kind of goes with Monster Monday as well. I named them Lily and Herman. Does everybody remember the Munsters from, you know, the 60s and 70s? I think it was maybe the 60s. I'm not sure. The black and white show of Herman the Munster and his family. Well, they are Herman and Lily. And you can't see Lily's face anymore, but I know she's going to fall over. So there's Lily one more time. And, of course, little Herman. <laughs> Aren't they cute? And they're here for Cheeky Monkey Monday, which is sponsored by our dear friends Kay and Louisa over at Our Cherished Cherubs. So the three tags we did today so far is... Whatever I Want Monday by D over at the Baby Patch. No, sorry about that. Number two is we did Monster Monday with Gilly over at Gilly the Monster. And we also did Cheeky Monkey Monday from um, Kate and Louisa over at our Cherished Cherubs. And the little outfits, the little monkey outfits that the babies have on are brand new. So we're going to do New Doll Clothes by Jay over at Jay Dolls UK. All four of these channels are amazing. Please pop in and see them. All four of them are a treasure to our community. They're creative. They have beautiful babies, lovely stuffed animals, and monkeys, and all sorts of things. So make sure you stop by. And Herman and Lily wanted me to send, send a special hello to Bella over at... Um, Josie's Jungle Room, and also Rudy at J Dolls UK. God bless everybody. Mwah. If you're at work, please come home safe to those who love you. And if you're at home, I know you're busy. Take some part of your day to put your feet up, to eat chocolate, and don't, I'm, I'm sorry, pamper yourself, and don't forget to eat chocolate. God bless. Mwah. And we will see you real soon.